<laughs> we tied it back. They went in the lead, and then we tied it up. I looked up. I'm like, oh, no. And Todd Walker was on the call for the SEC Network, and he was on yeah. it last time. So we talked about it this morning. <laughs> oh, no. You know, he's sitting at his basement doing the game, but we, we already talked about it, that no way we can do this thing. And, yeah, it, it crossed my mind, that's for sure. No, but Parks Harbor, though, there's a lot of things to talk about with this ball game. But uh, uh, Parks, I mean, I know he's a guy, he's a very mature for a freshman. I mean, really by this time of year, you're not really a freshman, I would I would guess. But uh, him, him to come through, really take some – like a real you know, calm approach at the plate and got you that winning hit. Yeah, no question about it. You know, Chaney's so good defensively, and he had a great game on Sunday. And 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 then just the, the splits, the matchup with the, the right-handed pitcher, it was definitely you needed the lefties in there. But once Gilbert got in, completely flipped. I mean, he dominates lefties. You saw how tough he was against all of our left-handed hitters. So by the time the game was over, we had all of our right-handed hitters in there. And, uh, and it just kind of worked out. The right-handers take, uh, you know, much better swings. It's kind of like Darren Pasquale. He's really tough on righties, and lefties take better swings off him because of the breaking ball. So, uh, you know, Parks was in there. Uh, you know, the first hit was, you know, just kind of living right, just kind of found a way to, you know, find some green to get the ball down. And, and I think that was the tying run. And then, uh, you know, for him to, uh, you know, get that hit and, and hit it like that, take a great swing. He was really aggressive. And, uh, you know, it was, it's awesome to see guys come off the bench. Luke Wagner, huge hit. Uh, Fernando Gonzalez getting a bunt down. Buddy Floyd drawing a walk. All those guys, everyone that came into the game did their job. And, I, I mean, I think we played 14 position players, and everybody did an outstanding job. Well, that kind of leads to my next uh, thing I didn't comment, I guess. Uh, um, even though this is one of your, your younger teams, uh, you correct me if I'm wrong, but is this one of your deeper ones maybe that you've had in a, in a, in a few years? I mean, the uh, – some experience, yeah. but guys who can go out and, and really get things done, you can and they can move a lot of people around. Yeah, Coach Daly made that comment in the fall, you know, when it was all over with. He goes, You know what? You know, one through nine, there might be some teams better than us, but I tell you what, there's not too many teams better than us 10 through 35. You know, just the depth that we have on this team, uh, we have a lot of really good players, and you saw that tonight. And we threw, I think, seven different pitchers, we played 14 different position players. And uh, now with everybody healthy, I mean, knock on wood, we can stay healthy. We can make some moves and do some things. And there was a time when we couldn't make a move. We couldn't switch anybody out. And, uh, you know, now with Corey able to catch and, and he's playing really well back there, we can just make different decisions and get different guys in the lineup. All right, thank you. Yeah, Coach, um, you kind of mentioned it a little bit there uh, when that when that oh, no thought crossed your mind. But what, what did tonight – I guess, tell you about the resilience of this team. You know, Clemson takes a lead there in the seventh. You know, you get it right back in the bottom. And then, you know, they tie it in the ninth. And, and you obviously win it in the ninth. You know, what, what does tonight say about the resilience of this group? Well, it showed a lot of toughness and, and really a lot of mental toughness. When we, we've got the lead, we're up four to two. And then the top of the seventh was a disaster. You know, we, we don't catch a pop-up. We make an error. Uh, we almost make another error in center field. We hit the leadoff guy to start the inning. Just one of those nightmare innings that it, it happens – but all of a sudden we go up four to two, feeling really good. We're down six to four and we get out of the jam. We get out of that mess and then we come back and tie it in the bottom. And then we keep scoring, we score in the eighth, we score in the ninth. So it, we showed a lot of toughness and uh, that, that's, that's as good a win as, as we've had uh, in a long time. And uh, just the way that it went about and uh, the way it played out, that, that was a really good win. Is this another one of those nights where I think you mentioned this last week where, you know, your offense scoring in multiple innings throughout the game. Is this another one of those nights where it really kind of paid off for y'all? Yeah, no quite. You just got to keep scoring. And, uh, you know, especially, you know, college baseball and the, the ball was jumping a little bit today, even though the wind wasn't blowing, the, the ball was kind of jumping. And, you know, they've got some guys in that lineup that are pretty scary. So you got to just keep scoring and keep going. And, you know, when, when they scored the four runs and went up six to four, you know, our dugout still had some energy. We had three innings left. We were just talking about winning the last three innings. And, uh, and our guys did it. We had some great at-bats uh, going down the stretch. And just one one last thing real quick. You know, when you have – obviously, y'all have had momentum off the two series wins these past couple weeks. But to have a game like this where you deal with, you know, a lot of adversity through it, to come back and still find a way to win anyway, kind of what can this do, you know, to propel this team going forward, you know, this weekend and, and going forward the rest of the season? Well, it can give you confidence, uh, you know, when adversity strikes again. You know, we're going we're gonna to make errors. Uh, we're going to have bad innings. We're going to give up you know, runs that we shouldn't give up, it's baseball. And, uh, but it, it shows that you can come back and, and fight back from it. So, you know, when you play a really good team like Clemson and able to come out on the winning end because, because you fought, uh, it, it gives you a lot of confidence moving forward. Thanks coach, appreciate it. Okay, next we're gonna go to Davis and then we're gonna go to Ramin. 
Coach, Corey Collins hit one of the furthest balls that I've seen personally at Foley uh, tonight. Just what can you say about his growth as a player and as a person this season? Yeah, I mean, he's just a really mature kid and, uh, you know, really happy with the way that he's been able to come in and now play defensively and catch. And, and it's probably a move I should have made earlier and I didn't. But, you know, I'm glad that, that we made that decision to catch him and he's done a great job. And, uh, and he's been swinging it better now that he's been playing more regularly defensively. And, and, and I think that has something to do with it. Just when you're in the game, you, you get a sweat going and, and you get adrenaline going. So, you know, he is a force to be reckoned with. There's no question about it. He is a scary hitter to face because he can hit it. Uh, you know, like you said, it's, you know, it, it was go it was going to hit a car in that parking lot up there and it hit that tree and came straight down. They said, I think 446 is what they said. So, uh, you know, that's, not quite Garrett Blaylock foul ball home run distance, but man, that ball was crushed, and uh, and that gave us you know the early lead and 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 really kind of got us going. And then I want to ask you, with the excess of you know, you've had a lot of bullpen days this year. Do you think that in a way it might be tiring your bullpen out, or well, when you notice we have bullpen days, we don't leave anybody out there too long, and uh, sure. you know, and look at you know Jaden Jaden Woods and Ben Harris weren't throwing today; they were down. So the guys that are down, they're down. And uh, we don't wear them out. So, you know, and, and, you know, Willie Pearson only went, uh, you know, he went one inning. You know, we, we didn't stretch anybody out. So, and Darren Pasqua hadn't pitched in a week. He'd, he'd been under the weather. He had a little bit of a bug, nothing, nothing COVID related. He just had a little bug. So he hadn't pitched in a while. So he was fresh. But yeah, I mean, if you look at the, uh, the box, the only guy that, you know, Hank Bearden was, was scheduled to be the start and, and then Nolan Crisp only threw two innings. So, you know, we, we've been really careful about not throwing guys back-to-back -back nights and giving them rest. So I, I think they're in good shape. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Hey, Coach, um, we talked about Corey. He extended his hitting streak to 10 tonight, Riley to 8, Connor to uh, 8 with a 16-game on-base streak. What do those numbers say about their consistency? Well, I mean, that's exactly what it says, that word, consistent, and, you know, just having good at-bats. And it's so tough in, in this league and with our non-conference. You know, next Tuesday we've got Georgia Tech. It's just so tough to, you know, game in and game out to be able to, you know, compete as a hitter against the pitching these guys are seeing. And it just shows you the talent level they have and, and the toughness that they have as hitters. And also, um, Josh McAllister, I think he hit one, I have 437 here, 104 off the bat, and he came back from injury, didn't miss a beat. Do you think he's, pitchers are starting to try to pitch around him a little bit? They're being more careful around him? Yeah, a little bit, but when you you know when you lead him off, it's 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 a nice thing that you can't really pitch around a leadoff guy. So it's he, he has been such a, a shot in the arm for us. And you know he was a guy at the beginning of the season. You know I, I told him hey, you're you're going to platoon early on and, and see who wins the job. And and he did he won the job. And uh, you know, he kind of gets us going. He plays hard and uh, and and it just gives our team a lot of energy. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way Josh is playing, and I know our team feeds off of him. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach.